Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the air with O'Hare. So today we'll be uh, doing another unboxing video. In this video, uh, it's a special livery. You might be able to see, you might not be able to see the logo, but let's just get into it. So, packaging did come with bubble wrap to protect it. I'm just taking out the bubble wrap now. Alright guys, so there it is. So let's just take a look at the box. And, uh, yeah. So at the top you can see it's a Sky Team livery. It's, by, it's a Air France. Boeing 737. Uh, sorry, uh, 777-300ER and then there's the registration uh, F as in uh, factor dash uh, G as in George Z as zebra N as Nancy and E as echo it's a 1400 scale livery, um, Sky Team Air France. And then turning to the bottom side of the box, or the, yeah, I guess one of the sides of the box, the bottom side. Um, it says marketed by, uh, uh, so Catech aircraft models. And then there's the address. Uh, in France, manufactured by Hagen Wings, that's what it says right there, and uh, you have the uh, Socatas, uh, So Gatek, uh, So Gatek, sorry, logo. And then you have Hagen Wings logo, and then detailed scale model for adult collectors, not suitable for children under 14. So turning to the right hand side, you have the Air France logo, you have the Sky Team logo. Turning to the top, you have uh, just this information in French, and here's the English. Highly detailed superior, um, tamp, printed graphics, uh, spinning engine fans, accurate and clean snap fit parts assembly lines, uh, landing gears and stand included. Official Air France uh, model produced under license. And turning to the left hand side, you have the Air France logo, Sky Team logo. And then turning to the bottom, you have all this logo right, or sorry, all this information in French, and then you have this information in English. So you can uh, pause the video to read. And then you have the 777 trademark, um, official Boeing license, pro, uh, produced under license from Boeing Management Company, 777, and Boeing are among the trademarks owned by Boeing. Air France trademarks are used under license, made in China, and then there's the scan code there, or barcode, whatever. So let's just uh, open the model. Oh, sorry, open the box, take a look at inside at the aircraft model itself. So it comes out like that. You are able to see there's a little flap. And then you have an image of uh, the model on, on the stand. And then you have a little window showcasing uh, the model. So, uh, let's just see. Close that back, and then and there it is. There's the box. 
And so when you take it out, there's a stand underneath. It's taped right to it. Taking out the base and the stand itself. Alright, here it is. So, here is the stand. It's got a nice um, silver shine to it. Um, usually, there will be the logo there of Hog and Wings, but there isn't. It's just a simple plain. Uh, ha! Uh, it's a simple. Um, uh, aluminium type of uh, coloring on it and yeah it's just simple and then here's the oops, here's the stand itself that goes into the base again very nice uh, metallic kind of look even though it is not metallic it is plastic and just like that the stand is attached I'm gonna put that aside and let's look at the model. And there is a uh, plastic protection around the aircraft. So I'm just going to take that off nice and gently, put the plastic away there. And this is the, actually the first 1-400 scale model that I've gotten uh, produced by Hagen. I didn't know Hagen Wings uh, made uh, die cast uh, models, but here it is. Alright, this thing is massive. Um, so let's just uh, break it down. So you got the front cockpit windows. Um, I know you guys can't see in the video, or maybe you can a bit. You can sort of see the um, uh, wipers there. And then you have Air France KLM logo, Air France logo, front emergency exit Sky Team logo. Um, over the wing exit and it's very detailed on uh, pretty much everything here on the wings uh, there's the landing light or the headlight landing light um, the f uh, slats flaps uh, and the speed brake flaps are very detailed there's a green dot right there to indicate the landing light and uh, yeah if you could see that there's the arrows to indicate like how to exit the aircraft and uh, looking at the back inside you have the sky team symbol as well as the rear emergency exits oh I also forgot to say it. you can also see the front cargo door and then there's the rear cargo door and then you have uh, the registration uh, um, F as in factor, dash, G as in uh, George, Z as zebra, N as Nancy, and E as echo. And it says Boeing 777 ER right there. And then you have the Sky Team logo on the fin of the empennage. Um, very detailed on the rudder uh, as well as um, the fins or should I say the elevators are very detailed um, and then looking to the other side you have pretty much the same thing of the sky team logo there on the fin uh, and the symbol on the body uh, you have the registration Boeing 777-300ER uh, rear emergency exits uh, again very detailed on the wings and there's the red landing light right there and um, 
uh, over the wing exits the indication on the wings for the uh, exits uh, exit sorry and then you have the landing lights right there sorry it's hard to see that little circle right there and then you have the sky team logo you have the air france logo front emergency exits air france klm logo and then you had the cockpit's uh, windows there and uh, turning to the bottom side you have uh, the rest of the sky team symbol going through uh, the gears seem to be rolling and one of the wheels just fell off uh, yeah, they roll a bit. And then there's the registration again. And the a hole for the stand. Uh, and then you have the Hog and Wings logo. So minus the... Uh, one of the wheels falling off, which I'll eventually glue. Let's just see if uh, it does spin, the engine's spin apparently I don't uh, think it's fully spinning right now but I put that uh, wheel back inside let's uh, try taking maybe a pencil and let me see if it rotates no the engines do not seem to be rotating so but it is very detailed so anyway um if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.